The U.S. Navy just dove into the fighter drone deep end, awarding developmental contracts for new carrier-based drone fighters to Andrel, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and General Atomics. Now, we've also learned from a recently released slide from a Navy Collaborative Combat Aircraft Office presentation that Lockheed Martin was also awarded a contract to develop the common control architecture for these carrier-based CCA fighters. Now, Andrel and General Atomics, of course, have already secured contracts with the U.S. Air Force to develop and field what the Pentagon calls their Tranche 1 of the Collaborative Combat Aircraft effort. Now, these drones are being developed with a primary focus on air-to-air -air combat, with Tranche 2 and Tranche 3 and so forth focusing on other elements of air warfare. Now, these drones will work in support of crewed fighters, potentially ranging from 4th Gen jets like the F-15EX to 5th Gen jets like the F-22 and F-35, and eventually 6th Gen fighters like Boeing's new F-47. Now, notably, a pre-production prototype of General Atomics YFQ-42 made its first test flight just last week, with Andrel's YFQ-44 expected to follow suit any day now. And it isn't quite clear whether Andrel and General Atomics aim to convert their existing fighter drone designs for carrier duty, or if they'll aim to field entirely new ones. Though General Atomics has pioneered an approach to drone design that sees a common chassis, as they put it, that includes most of the mission systems, the landing gear, and flight control computers shared across all of their drone designs, allowing them to rapidly develop a wide array of different airframes. It's also worth noting that General Atomics developed the electromagnetic catapults used by America's Ford-class supercarrier which could give them a slight edge in developing a drone that's suitable for the rigors of things like catapult launches. But don't let that head start fool you. Northrop Grumman and Boeing both have CCA-style drone wingmen concepts that are already flying. Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat was originally developed for the Royal Australian Air Force, with around eight Block 1 aircraft already flying test flights and production underway on Block 2 aircraft that will boast a new wing layout, an advanced new GPS guidance system, and other improvements that will ultimately jockey for further Australian and foreign contracts. Then it's worth noting that Boeing has produced renders of a carrier-capable variant of the MQ-28 to show customers in the past. And maybe just as importantly, the U.S. Navy is already working to integrate AI-enabled drones on its aircraft carriers in the form of the MQ-25 Stingray refueling drone, which was also developed and built by Boeing. And of course, Northrop Grumman also has a CCA-style aircraft already in testing called the Model 437 Vanguard, which you might note actually has a cockpit. This crude version of the aircraft is meant to allow Northrop to move more quickly through the early stages of testing. But in the future, the firm envisions building both crude and uncrewed versions of this stealth aircraft. And of course, starting all the way back in 2011, Northrop Grumman's X-47B saw extensive testing aboard American aircraft carriers, including takeoffs, landings, and mid-flight refueling. So Northrop certainly has chops in this department. Now, currently, Currently, reports suggest the Navy is looking to spend around $15 million per CCA drone, which is a lot less than the Air Force is investing in theirs. But that could be possible by piggybacking off of the Air Force's efforts and avoiding a good chunk of those developmental costs. In any case, it seems likely that the Navy will choose one, or maybe more than one, of these designs with the goal of getting them into service sometime after the Air Force's CCAs, which are slated for 2030.